I'm warning you. That's right. Oh, them preachers all over the air, social media, radio and television, playing with you. Yeah. This is that we're in the wilderness. In the wilderness of the world. That's right. Crying out like John the Baptist. That's right. Prepare for it take God to meet God. That's Hallelujah. right. You better prepare. Hallelujah. That's right. Blessed be God. Prepare. That's right. I'm warning you now. Yeah. I'm warning you. You can be puffed up and glory in what you have. I don't care what you have. That's right. Hallelujah. I don't care if you land a contract in any area of life for five, six, seven hundred billion dollars. Mm. A dead baby. I say that an untimely birth is, is better, than, better me. than you. Think of it now. Think yeah. of it. Yeah. Think of it. Think of it now. Yeah. Think of it. Amen. A dead child is better than he. What else did he say? For he cometh in with vanity. Coming in vanity. And departeth in darkness. Depart in darkness. And his name shall be covered with darkness. What? Moreover, he hath not seen the sun. Having seen the sun. Nor known anything. Having known anything. This hath more rest than the other. Glory to God. Amen. Huh? All right, let's go back to the book of Berich. Back in Berich. Oh, this is so beautifully outlined. Oh, yes. All right, viewers, you better get this. Amen. And man, we're not going to be before you long. God be our help. But I guess when I thunder this after you, Amen. it give you something to think about. Amen. I feel better than I did this morning now. Wonderful. Glory to God, I got a good jump start. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's it. God, I got a good jump start. The, the, the cables of heaven gave my battery a good jump start. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. All right, Williams, come on. Berich chapter 4 and at verse 28. As what? For as it was your mind. Mind. This was your mind. To go astray from you God. You one left God. That was your thinking. That's you right. can blame anybody else you want, but the Holy Ghost had. For it was your mind. It was your mind. To go astray from to God. Go astray from God. So being returned. So being returned. Seek him ten times more. When you come back. Amen. You better double up. That's right. In fact, ten times more. Ten times more. In other words, you got to pray more than you did before you left him. Yeah. Fast more than you did before you left him. That's right. Why? You don't want to abandon him again. That's right. That's what right. is that teaching you? When you backslide and come back. It takes, more it takes more than it did before you left. That's right. So stay with him now. That's right. Why? That's right. Now you need God to kill the taste That's it. that you accumulated yeah. while you was out there committing treason before him. That's right. You need God. Hallelujah. Amen. To attack your emotions. Yeah. Because there's things out there you got involved in. Yeah. Oh, attack God that you love. That's right. You need God Go ahead. to destroy your carnal mind. That's right. Because your mind now is dwelling yeah. on the things that you got involved in yeah. while you're out there. Mm -hmm. Did you hear the Bible talking? For as it was your mind, it's your mind to go astray from it's God. Your mind. You can blame it on anything <laughs> you like. Yeah. It won't fly with God. God won't buy it. God <laughs> won't accept it. Right. God won't go along with it because the Holy Ghost says what? For as it was your mind, your to, mind. to go astray from God. Your mind. Many of you watching your me mind. now. Your backslider. Mm -hmm. And then one backslider said something so beautiful. He he posted. He said, "I'm a backslider." He said, but this is the first man I ever seen in my life that even made me consider Wonderful. come back to God. Wonderful. Come on, man. Amen. Hallelujah. The devil preachers is not a devil preacher on the planet. <laughs> That's designed to even make you think about coming back to God. That's right. The devil preaches the design to fluff in your pillow. Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. Hey, man, you get comfortable in your sins, he make your bed up. That's right. Tuck you in it. Tuck you in it. Hey, man, get you all relaxed and happy. That's right. Hey, man, while you're on your way to hell, smiling. Oh, yeah. He got you thinking you're on your way to heaven, but no, you going to hell with a smile on your face. That's right. That's right. We come along and snatch the covers off of you. Oh, yes. Take your fluff pillow and burn it out. <laughs> That's right. Yeah? That's right. And drag you out the bed yeah. and tell you, come on! Come on back, come on to, back God. to God. That's right. Repent of your sins, oh, hallelujah, yeah. and be baptized in water. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And seek the Lord for the Holy Ghost. Come on back to him. Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 20. Says what? For the bed is shorter. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Your bed is short. Then that a man can stretch then himself man on can it. Stretch himself on it. And the covering now. Oh, your cover is too narrow. Then that he can wrap himself then in it. That you can wrap yourself in it. Listen, you, the bed is too short. It can't hold you. Oh, no. And your cover is too narrow. That's right. Uh -huh. For as it was your mind, as it was your mind, to go astray from God, leave God. So being returned, being returned, seek Him ten times and more. And you gotta come along and buckle down and really seek God more, so you don't leave Him again. For He that hath brought these plagues upon you, He, 
Amen. that have brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy again with your salvation. It's a beautiful thing. Amen. When everlasting joy. Everlasting you joy. You know when somebody come back to God, they Amen. can get everlasting joy. That's right. Shake the plagues of sin off. That's right. Those things that plague my mind. That's why you ten times more you're going to see them more. now. Right. Because when you was out there and come back, mm -hmm. be prepared. That's right. Be prepared now. Amen. Oh, we thank God because yo, 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 you're going to be plagued. Oh, yes. You better give me the, uh, the sixth chapter of the book of uh, the Ephesians quickly. I got to dress them up in the armor. Yes. Amen. To protect them when they come back. That's right. Eh? That's right. Amen. I, got, I want to dress you up in the armor of God because you need this Holy Ghost protection when you come back. And you also need this Holy Ghost protection before you go out. In Ephesians chapter six and verse ten. All right. Finally, my brethren, right, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord and the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God. How much? Put on the whole armor of God. Oh, God, I want the thunder. You know, anytime anybody go to war, you don't put on partial armor. No, no. You ain't out there shooting with a rifle and draws. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. Glory to God. You out there with a gun and draws? <laughs> Amen. You ain't ready to fight? No. You need armor's protection. That's right. That's why the Bible says, "Put on how much? Put on the whole armor Holy of God." Holy Ghost want to dress you up, Mister. Oh, yeah. Holy Ghost want to dress you up, Miss. That's right. Uh -huh. Put on the whole armor of God. Put on the whole armor of God. That you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. What kind of character the devil has? The wiles. He's a wild of thing. W i l e s. Uh -huh. That's the right. wiles. Wiles of the devil. Of the devil. He have a whole lot of. He's vicious. Oh yeah. He's dangerous. That's right. He's a threat to your eternal life. That's right. Uh -huh. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against what? But for we wrestle not against flesh but and blood. But against what? But against principalities. But against principalities. Against power. Powers. Against the rulers against of the, the darkness rulers of this of world. Darkness. Against the rulers of evil. Against the rulers of sin in this world. Against spiritual wickedness in high spiritual places. Spiritual wickedness. The devil's all in high places. In the government. In the pulpit of the churches. Wherefore take In the to... Democrats. That's in right. the Republicans. That's right. In countries that have emperors and ambassadors. Spiritual wickedness. Spiritual wickedness. In high places. Places. And high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. All right, it's time to get dressed up. Amen. You that, know, when you backslide and come back, and even if you never backslid, we want to dress right. you up and get you prepared. That's right. For battle. That's right. Uh -huh. That you may be able to withstand in the evil day. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the evil day. And having done all to you stand. Done everything to stand. Stand, therefore. Stay at it. Ha that, be that's consistent. Right. That's right. Stay at it. That's right. Uh -huh. Having your loins girt about with truth. Having your loins Good about. about with truth. You know, it's good to have your lawns girded about. Oh, yeah. Be dressed up in the truth. That's right. Truth will support you. That's the right. truth will give you stability when you lack stability. That's right. Uh -huh. And having on the breastplate of righteousness. Well, the reason why look, a breastplate is for your chest. Yeah. You need chest protection. Oh, yeah. Because your heart got entangled out there with the things of the world. Right. And now you need God to purify your heart because your heart is full of corruption. And after God purify your heart, you need chest protection with what? And having on the breastplate of righteousness. Breastplate of righteousness. You want your heart to only feel that which is right. That's right. Because the devil going to target your heart and give you ill feelings and mm. make you fall in love with that which is related to hell. That's right. Uh -huh. And your feet shod. Feet shod. With the preparation of the gospel of peace. You no, know, it takes God to order your steps. Oh, yeah. A good man steps is ordered by the Lord and God direct his path. That's so right. when your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, listen, you need peace in your steps ahead, because as long as your steps is full of sin that's not the God of heaven ordering your steps right. they are the steps of confusion that's right uh -huh. Up, and above all above everything taking the shield of faith wait a minute what class does the shield of faith fall in? Uh, above all what Take class does the shield of faith fall in? above all that lets you know none of none None Amen. of this armor is effective yeah. if you don't believe God. That's right. Eh? That's right. None of it. Above oh, all. God, if I don't believe God, my breastplate won't work. Yeah. If I don't believe God, nothing works. That's Amen. right. Amen. Now, my faith that God makes the armor stay on me. That's Lord, right. Thank God. Eh? Above all. Above all. Taking the shield of faith. Not the shield of faith. Well, you know, you know, you know when, you, when you got a shield, the shield is designed to absorb the blows. That's right. Above all, take the shield of faith. Wherewith you shall be able shall to be quench able to all quench the fiery darts all of the, the wicked. All the fiery darts of the wicked. Notice it didn't just say quench the darts. It says fiery, fiery darts. Fiery darts. Let you know when the devil shoot at you. It's fire behind it. That's it's right. power. 
power behind it. And take the helmet of salvation. When you got faith, your faith will absorb the blow. That's right. And what shall we do? And take the helmet of salvation. Take the helmet of salvation. And the sword of the spirit. All right. Go ahead, bro. Helmet is for head protection. Go ahead, bro. You know, I used to play football, Williams and I. Yeah. I used to play running back and wide receiver. Yes. Thank God when I when I get that punt return and start running down, hey man, and my team is blocking me, but somebody just get through. Yeah. They get through and knock my feet out from under me. Right. But if I see them coming down head first, I got to drop my head. That's hey man, right. So both heads can collide. That's right. Yeah? That's hey right. Man, you got to have the helmet of, helmet of salvation. salvation. Because out there is button up against your mind. Preach it. The Bible said to be eternal mind that is death. Yeah. And to be spiritual mind is life and peace. Go ahead. That's why Paul said, let this mind be you. That's also in Christ Jesus. You need God's mind. Yeah. You need head protection so you don't think like a fool. Go ahead. The first thing Hallelujah. that makes, that cause the, per, the first, part first part of a person that begin to backslide yeah. is the mind. That's right. When that mind starts to leave God, then eventually you become emotionally detached That's right. from God. Your heart starts leaving. Yeah. And then when your mind leaves and your heart leaves, what before long your body will be out there. That's right. You know, you can backslide and come to church every day. Yeah. So you need the helmet. That's right. Helmet of salvation. Helmet of salvation. Salvation means deliverance. Oh, yeah. You need the helmet of deliverance because you need your you need your mind to be delivered from your own thoughts. That's because right. You think like a fool. That's right. Eh? All right. And take the helmet of salvation. Take the helmet of salvation. And the sword of the spirit. Which is what? Which is the word of God. You see, you need the sword of the spirit. Yeah. That, you, that lets you know the speech of God is sharp. That's right. It is the sword of the spirit. That's why in the false church, uh, they don't use the sword of the spirit. No. You know, they, they just handle the sword without the spirit. That's right. In other words, they handle the letter without the spirit. That's right. You see, when you handle the letter without the spirit, that's equal to a a person taking a sword out the case and just looking at it. That's right. That's right. But don't cut with it. That's right. Because I know how to use it. Mm -hmm. Thank God. But when you take the sword, sword. of the spirit, mm -hmm. you got the letter that kills and it's the spirit that quickens the letter right. that give it life. That's right. So when I take the sword of the spirit, I use it. The word is called a, a sword uh, because we need to be uh, uh, dis, uh, disfigured. Yeah. Cut up. Cut up. Cut down. Yeah. Cut away from. That's right. Detached from. That's right. Severed. Pierced. Mm. We use that with the sword of the spirit. Sword of the spirit. Uh -huh. Which is the word of Bring God. God word. Pray always. Doing what? Praying always. Amen. Do you hear this? Do you hear this? Hallelujah. The Bible says be instant in prayer. That's right. Uh -huh. Praying always with all prayer and supplication all prayer in the and spirit. Supplication in what? In the spirit. In the spirit. And watching thereunto. Watch. And the first thing you watch is yourself. That's right. Watching thereunto. With all perseverance. All perseverance. And supplication, and supplication for all saints. For all saints. And for me. And Paul. Look at Paul. Say, don't forget me. That utterance may be given unto me. It didn't matter because he was an apostle. He knew he needed prayer too. That's right. Eh? That I may open my mouth boldly. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Pray for me. Hallelujah. That I may open my mouth boldly. As a coward. Boldly. Amen. Wait a minute. That I may open my mouth how? That I may open my mouth boldly. Scared. Boldly. Scared of threats. That I may open my mouth boldly. Yeah, scared of being sued. That I may open my mouth boldly. Scared of them boycotting out there in the street in front of the church. That I may open my mouth boldly. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God have given me a bold mouth. Oh, yes. Amen. And then the apostle said, pray. And for me. For me. That utterance may be given that unto me. utterance may be given unto me. That I may open that my I mouth boldly. That I may open my mouth bold. To make known the mystery of the gospel. I'm determined to do that. Oh, yes. For which I am an for ambassador in bonds. I am a representative. In bonds. In bonds. That therein I may speak boldly. Therein I may speak boldly. As I ought to speak. Now, this is how I Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. You complain about my talking. This is how mm. I ought to talk. That therein I may speak boldly. That I may speak boldly. As I ought to speak. This is how a man of God ought to ought talk. Ought to speak. That's yeah. right. That's right. He ought to be a bold preacher. That's right. Not some little cotton candy, people pleasing, yeah. whip, coward, spineless, jelly back, no good, rotten, hell deserving thing. That therein I may speak boldly. As I ought to speak. I don't care if you don't like me. What is that to me? That's right. I don't care if you don't like how I sound. I don't lose sleep of how you think. No. Oh, no. I'm determined to speak boldly, boldly. until the sleep 
you can't have it. <laughs> That's Take right. Take the stick away from you. That's right. Eh? For which I am. Amen. I want God to trouble you until he I break mean. into your night vision. Yeah. Amen. When you go to sleep, you wake up yelling about this thing. <laughs> Better right. give me the book of Job. Book of Job. knock off. Yeah. Let's get Bible for this. I want God to plague your mind. That's viewer. right. That's right. Amen. Uh, until God bring this message in your mind. Job chapter 33 and verse 14. Be quick now. For God speaketh once. God yet, speak once, yea, twice. Yet man perceiveth it not. Yet man refuses to obey. In a dream. And look at here. You don't want to hear this while you're wide awoke. Mm -hmm. You get mad and cuss and turn the television on and turn it off and yeah. turn the message on social media and turn it off and then, amen, put comments calling me a cult leader and <laughs> call right. me all type of names, call me an MF and an SOB as if that's going to make me lose sleep. Some of you call me nigger and nigga <laughs> as if right. that's supposed to be a more proper nigger that's than right. as a nigga. For God speaketh what? Call me what you want! That's right! Hallelujah. They call me a coon. Call me a Uncle Tom. You call me whatever you want. That's right. Amen. Call me a European Bible lover. You call me whatever you want. That's but right. You going to come back to Bible? That's right. You going to hell? That's right. You just as sure for hell is already in there. Yeah. You bear in mind, out of all your talk, you just got the breath all in your little snotty nostrils. That's right. That's all you got. That's all you, you got. You just got your breath in your nostrils. Yeah. Talk to big talk, hypocrite. Oh, yes. But when you die, you're going to remember. Remember when you stand before God that you die without repentance, mm. you die without baptism in the mm. name of Jesus Christ, and you die without the Holy Ghost. Right. And when you stand before God, you're going to remember that the truth of God was the message that God put in the earth to connect you with him. Right. But it's going to be too late now. Oh, yes. Too late, I said. For God speaketh what? God speak what? Yea, twice. Yea, twice. Yet man perceiveth it not. And man won't obey. In a dream. God say, I grab you in a dream in a vision of the night. When deep sleep falleth when upon deep, men. Hallelujah. Go and take off. Hallelujah. When deep sleep falleth upon men. In slumberings upon the bed. The bed then it openeth the ears, ears of men. Ears of men. And sealeth their instruction. Look at him. He, he, look at him. He got so much love for your hard head rebellious self. He see how you don't want to obey while you won't. That's so right. he's still giving you a chance, giving you a chance. While you're mm. falling to a deep sleep, God will bring the message that you fight. That's right. In your dream. That's right. In a vision of the night. Mm -hmm. When what kind of sleep? When deep, deep sleep. Deep sleep. Oh, you're in a deep sleep. Deep sleep. Fall upon men that slumbering upon a bed. Then he openeth the ears of men. Wait a minute. While you sleep, God do what? Then he openeth the ears of men. He open your ears while you sleep. And what does he do? And seal their instructions. He bring his instructions right while you sleep. That he may withdraw men from his purpose and hide pride from man. God want to break up your pride. Yeah. Huh? That's right. Because he know why you sleep. You got a purpose. That's right. You be dreaming about your purpose. Yeah. You be imagining about your agenda that you got for the next day. That's right. And God come bring the word and break it up and plague you. That's you right. You hear it in your sleep. Yeah. Amen. I thought about a brother, amen, some years ago. He told me he was with a woman that he shouldn't be with and uh and uh, he was trying to have pleasure. <laughs> Thanks right. be unto the Lord. <laughs> and uh, he said he heard my voice mm -hmm. right in his ear. Oh. Amen. Right, <laughs> right in his ear. Mm -hmm. Amen. He had on his birthday suit and she had on her birthday suit. Oh. And uh, I don't think the woman even knew about me now. Never met me yet. <laughs> but bless God, he said, brother. He said, man, I was about to handle my business. He said, and then your voice, just as clear as day, my Lord. came blasting in my bedroom. Mm. He said, man, you made me so angry. I, I, I'm laying there <laughs> and with her. And I started yelling, shut up, man. <laughs> shut up. And man, he said, the woman looked at him <laughs> huh? and asked him, are you all right? <laughs> Huh? Well, right away, that broke the mood. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. That broke the mood. He said, brother, you broke the mood. Everything in me just deflated. Oh. <laughs> huh? Went down, I said. <laughs> Well, you better off going down so you can't do wrong. That's right. They go down to hell. That's right. Eh? That's right. Hey, Amen. That thing made me laugh. He said, Pastor Jennings, I speak the truth and light not. He said, I had it all planned, man. I had the candle lighted, all the music going. And she was there in her negligee, man. I was in the room, lights was all dim. He said, the moment I got in position, <laughs> they get ready. They go marching through the land. You come blasting in my room. Hallelujah. He said, I yelled at the top of my voice, Leave me alone! <laughs> 
Ain't no woman gonna want to do anything after that. Not after that. Oh no, that woman ain't good. <laughs> 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 And there is a man hearing voices. That's right. Glory to God Hallelujah. to the highest. Hallelujah. All right, son. Then he opened the ears of men <laughs> and sealed up their instruction. God will get you. Oh, yes, he will. Oh, yes, he'll break into your dream. That's right. Hey, Amen. Let you hear the word of God blasting and you get so tired, you argue with it. Someone say, who are you talking to? Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> Word of God is in behind you. That's right. That's God warning you. Oh, yeah. Before he cuts you off, he's warning you. Oh, yeah. All right. Then he opened the ears of men. And he opened the ears of men. And still gave instructions, instructions that he may withdraw he's man from his purpose. Because he wanted to withdraw man from his agenda. And hide pride and from man. And man from his high, exalted self-will. He keepeth back his soul from the pit. Wait a minute. Why is God doing this? He keepeth back his soul from the pit. God is doing this even while you sleep. He mm -hmm. bring the message of holiness to you to keep you from going to the grave Christless. Keep you from going to a Christless grave. And his life and from perishing life by the sword. And being punished with the sword. He is chasing also with pain upon his bed. One time God would afflict you. And the multitude of and his bones with strong pain. Look at it. Many of you rich now. Yeah. You're rich, but you, you, you can't enjoy your money. That's right. You can't That's enjoy right. your mind. You need someone to bathe you. Yeah. You need someone to turn you over and wash you. Yeah. Your money can't do a thing for you. That's right. Uh -huh. So that his life abhorreth bread. Your life, you're sick now. You don't even want to eat nothing. God, take your appetite away. And his soul, dainty meat. Uh -huh. His flesh is consumed away. Now he started losing weight. That it cannot be seen. Because it cannot be seen in the bones. That would not seem. That was not seen. Stick out. Stick out. Yeah, your soul yeah. walked near unto the grave. Look at you. You're traveling to the grave, and Mr. It, and Miss. And his life. You're traveling to the grave and your life. To the destroyer. To the destroyer, your life is going to the devil. If there be a messenger with him, there it is. Hallelujah. In your condition, God will bring a preacher. That's right. If there be a messenger, a messenger with him. How many? An interpreter. An interpreter. One. One among a thousand. You know, God can get one man. That's right. Or to God and take that one and upside, uh, turn the whole world over. That's right. One among a thousand. To so show what the man, man is upright. Is upright. Show man how he should be. Then he is gracious unto him. Then God is showing mercy to you, fella. And says, deliver him from going down deliver to him. the pit. God will come along and say, deliver. I'm going to deliver you now. I have found I'm a going ransom. To the grave. I found. I found the way to bring you back. His flesh shall be fresher than a child. Now here, hear you. He First shall. Your flesh was falling off, and your bones would stick out. Yeah. Now God restore you. That's right. Now your flesh is fresher than a child. He shall return to the days of his youth. Return to the days of his youth. He shall pray unto God. Now he'll start praying. Now what? He shall pray unto God. Don't you think you need to do that now, viewer? Oh yes. Don't you think you don't smoke long enough? Took a crack long enough? Ran the street horn around long enough on your dash pole long enough? Yeah. I was watching the news, and they showed some. Heathenistic, Hellenistic woman preacher. To my son, she's spreading a new gospel now. What? The gospel of Jesus Christ is being spread through pole dancing. Got in church Lord. with a pole dancing. What and she fool. be up and down on the pole. To my she's spreading the love of Christ. How far out of hell <laughs> did you come from? That's right. My Lord, my one Lord. man gonna be thinking about Jesus, <laughs> and here's a woman on the pole, one leg wrapped around it, one arm another way, one leg another way. She come down spiraling. <laughs> if that man called Jesus, it won't be because he want the Holy Ghost. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> God. Am I right? I said. That's right. <laughs> if that man called Jesus, I guarantee it won't be because he. Seek him the Lord for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> That's right. Not at all. Not at all. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Man. Hallelujah. A pole dancer. Amen. And she all well put together. Mm. And she's about something. I'm coming down now to bring you to Christ. Oh, he's going to say Jesus. <laughs> yes, he will. Oh, yes. He going to say Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. That's right. But it won't be for the Holy <laughs> Ghost. Right. You bear that in mind. Hallelujah. You take your pole and knock it down now or donate it to a fire department That's and right. stop being a fool That's and right. make a mockery of God. Yeah. You know, the devil really is in hell going business. Oh, yes. Huh? He but the devil's really sending folk to hell. You fall for anything that's so foolish. Foolish. All right, son, real quick so I can knock off. He shall pray unto God, and he will be favorable unto him. Yes. And he shall see his face with joy. That's what I want to do. Oh, yes. Hey, Amen. I want to see my his savior face, face with joy. With joy. For he will render unto man Hallelujah. his righteousness. He's going to render 
the man his righteous was right he looketh upon me he look upon men and if any say i have sinned and, and perverted that which was say, right if any say i have sinned i have sinned and perverted that which was right and if he pervert that which is right and it profited me not and don't gain nothing he will deliver his soul from going into the pit do you hear this viewer amen viewer by god's permission i'm bringing you a message that will do what for your soul he will deliver his soul this will deliver your soul from going into the pit so you don't go to that everlasting lake of fire do you want to burn Hallelujah. are you that tough mm. are you that mean or you think you're that cute mm. you got those many curves that you want the flames of hell to wrap around your hips that's right you will understand oh yes a day will come that you will remember yeah. that this message was being preached in the earth mm. as it was in the days of noah and as it was in the days of john the baptist that's right these are the last days that's right